Okay, one more. Uh, this one is number 715. This is a German Guarneri model from around 1920. The scale length on this one is 327 millimeters. This one has helicor medium tension, new pegs, a new nut, Whitner tailpiece. It's a good old solid uh, fiddle in good condition. Uh, two piece back, uh, moderate flaming. This is another trade fiddle that I regraduated. Uh, it is a Guarneri model. See the F holes, they have a little pointy. I tell people all the time, how do you tell? Well, a Guarneri model will have a little bit more of a point up here around the F hole. And a Stradivari or an Amati pattern is more rounded here, where a Guarneri has a little more of a, just a slight longer F hole and a pointier uh, ends. So anyway, this is a powerful fiddle, man. It's got really uh, good volume, good depth. Uh, as far as the condition, the varnish is original. It does have a few little chips. Um, and I generally don't spend a ton of time trying to patch those up. I kind of like the old um, patina and battle scars on these old fiddles. Again, this fiddle is operating good. It's got good volume, tone, response. Um, an old Guarneri model. Uh, it's probably a Saxon violin. Nothing of any real huge pedigree, but it, it is. These fiddles are getting harder and harder to find, and even if you can go out and find one, uh, that's in good condition, you're going to have to pay some money for them, and then you have to do quite a bit of work to make them sound good. So, um, I'm fairly reasonable on these for the amount of work that I put in them and then how they sound. So, this is another one that I'm not asking a ton of money for. It's a good fiddle. I wish I would have had something like this when I started. I would maybe be further along than I am now. This one's number 715. Uh, check out my website, RoyceBurtViolins.com. Um, I have some better fiddlers playing some of these instruments, and, and they sound uh, a lot better in the hands of qualified players. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm constantly working on new additions to sell. Um, I really love old fiddles, and I, I really especially get a kick out of taking these old uh, fiddles that don't sound good and making them play good. So 
please get in contact with me if you want to try one out, find out a little bit more about, you know, a particular violin, just let me know. Thank you.